Hi everyone, long time no see. It's been about two years since I've posted on this channel. I'm gonna explain where I've been and everything, but yeah, it's been a long time. And some of you, a lot of you probably don't know, but I have another channel where I teach English and I've been pretty active on that channel and I've been kind of focusing on that channel a lot. So I've kind of neglected Tokyo Brewery. So I'm so glad that you're watching this video right now. I don't know how many of my original audience will stick around um, for this video, but uh, I'm very happy to be talking to you guys again. It's been a really long time and yeah, I just wanted to give a life update kind of where I've been, what I've been doing. A lot, a lot, a lot has happened and um, yeah, I, I want to be more active on this channel, so um, I think I'm going to start posting here more. So please let me know um, if you'd like to see more videos from me, I guess. First thing is in 2020, during the pandemic, the start of COVID, 2020 was a kind, like pretty hard year for me because I was supposed to be getting married in Hawaii and we had everything planned. I already paid for half of the wedding and it was a lot of money. When COVID hit, like everything was shut down. Basically, we all know that. So I ended up postponing my wedding. We were not thinking correctly, I guess, but like hindsight is 2020, right? No pun intended. We were supposed to get married in September. And I think around April or May, we made the decision to push it back to December of 2020 because we thought by then everything's going to be fine. And it, it wasn't, it still wasn't. Then we pushed it back to 2021. I'll get into why we couldn't have our wedding in 2021, but we ended up getting married at the uh, city hall where we live here. And so I've I, th I think I posted that in a different life update, but yeah, I've been married since 2020, um, December. So yeah, that was great. But I just felt like I couldn't keep posting on Tokyo Bree Bree after 2020. I got kind of down. Um, I wouldn't say depressed or anything, but I like lost motivation to work on this channel because I really liked going out and exploring new places and um, introducing them to you guys. But we couldn't really go out and like lots of places were closed. That was really difficult for me. And I thought about, um, you, if you notice my last few videos on this channel, I was trying to like kind of do news updates and, and that just kind of made me bummed out. There was never any positive news. It was all negative and I I don't want to be a negative person and I don't want you guys to feel negative after watching my videos. Like I, I think you can tell from my previous videos and then my last few videos that I uploaded, I was kind of getting bogged down with bad news and just kind of bummed out and I, I yeah, I just lost motivation basically. And then in March of 2021, um, me and my husband decided we want to to have kids. So in 2021, we decided we were gonna try for a baby. But unfortunately, I contracted something called cytomegalovirus, um, otherwise known as CMV. And at first, I think I, I thought it was COVID, and I got really, really sick. I still I still remember the day I got sick because I remember being really tired and I think I hadn't gotten a lot of sleep recently. And I remember uh, going out with my husband and we had to go shopping for something. And it was, it was nice because we hadn't really gotten out of the house a lot due to the pandemic. And so we went out, we went shopping and I think um, I started to not feel that great. I didn't think I was sick, but I started feeling tired. And then um, we went out for dinner and I remember there was like an earthquake after dinner. I started really not feeling good. And then I was like, oh, I have to go home. And by the time I got home, I had a fever about 40 degrees Celsius, which is like 104 fever in Fahrenheit. 
and I was like, oh my God, I feel so sick. So I took some medicine and I went to bed. I don't wanna make this video too long, but I ended up having that fever for about three weeks and it was really, really bad and it was really, really rough. And um, I would take medicine and it would get my fever down, but then um, it would just spike right after the medicine wore off. And I was putting like ice packs all around my head and on my body and I just couldn't keep my fever down. And my husband called the hospital several times, but because COVID was still a big thing at the time, they said, um, unless you're coming by ambulance, don't come to the hospital. And one day I got up to get some more ice to put, up, to put on my head and stuff. And I think I kind of collapsed in the kitchen. It was like really early in the morning and then my husband found me and um, we decided, yeah, like we're gonna go to the, the ER. So um, we went there and they checked me out and they said, um, some of your, I think it was my kidney or my liver numbers were high or something, but it's nothing to worry about. And they just sent me home. And then I think I ended up going to the hospital two or three times. And finally I could see like a viral specialist or something. And yeah, they figured out I had CMV. And what CMV is, it's like, it's similar to mono, I guess. It's very similar, but um, usually people get it when they're like kids, like usually children get it. And um, you can get it several times throughout your life, but if it's the first time you're getting it as an adult, it can be really, really bad. So I'd never gotten CMV before and um, apparently if you get it when you're a child, it's like a cold or you don't even notice it. Yeah, I got it as an adult and it was really crazy. <laughs> so I think like my liver was inflamed and my kidney or something. Like um, they could tell like the virus was like in my liver, I think. I don't know. But it's kind of hard to remember now because it was two years ago. But yeah, um, I was sick for a very long time and I was like in and out of the hospital a lot. And um, something that I think not a lot of people know is if you get CMV for the first time as an adult, um, you need to wait to get pregnant. And I thought it would be like a month or a couple months or something, but um, they suggested a year. I know it's some hospitals are different and I think maybe some countries are different, but I think it's a still a very rare case that an adult gets CMV and gets pregnant. So, um, so because I was trying to get pregnant, I mentioned it to them and they said I needed to wait a year to even try to get pregnant. And that was really hard to hear. They told me that if I got pregnant, while the virus was still in my body, um, that it would really have negative effects on the child. So the child could be born blind or deaf or have like other health issues. Uh, it could result in death and a lot of bad things. So they said to be on the safe side, wait a year. And I had no idea, I've never heard of CMB before. And it was really lucky that I saw a specialist that gave me that information. And if I think about it, it's kind of lucky that my symptoms were so severe that I went to the hospital because some people, even if they're an adult, it doesn't affect them that much. It could just be like a cold for them. So if they don't find out that it's CMV and then they get pregnant or they're already pregnant, it could be, um, you know, bad outcome for the child. So, I'm, I feel very lucky that I was able to get that information and I was able to wait even though it was a very long wait. <laughs> it was for the best. I'm really grateful for the doctor and, and just being aware of what I had so I could kind of deal with it a little bit. So I had to keep going to the hospital and getting my blood checked and everything to make sure that the um, number was going down, that the, the number in my liver was going down and that I was getting rid of the virus. But, it, but I had the virus for a very long time. I think it was like the end of the year 
when I finally got the okay that um, the number was low enough um, that it, it wouldn't be a problem anymore. I think CMV just wreaked havoc on my body and my immune system. And I'm pretty sure I had something called CFS, chronic fatigue syndrome. So basically um, I got sick with CMV in March and for that whole year, um, even after I, I recovered, I, I was sick for about three weeks. And then um, after that, I recover, recovered, but I'm pretty sure I had chronic fatigue syndrome. So I couldn't take walks for very long. Um, and I love hiking. I couldn't go hiking. I couldn't do any of that. Um, I couldn't even stand and do the dishes. Um, I would... I would start doing the dishes or something like that and I would feel my face getting really hot and I would get really feverish and it would come all of a sudden and I would have to sit down and I couldn't really do anything and every month I would get like a fever, I'd be sick. It kind of controlled my life for that year. It's really weird to think about now because now I'm, I'm perfectly fine but that whole year um, I couldn't do almost anything, so that really bummed me out. Um, but yeah, like gradually I got my stamina back and I was able to do things. And finally, uh, last year in March, I got pregnant. And in December of 2022, I gave birth to my daughter. And um, I don't really want to share her online, but... Just know that she's very, very cute and she's happy and healthy and I love her. Um, I might do a video about pregnancy and giving birth in Japan later, but that's a major life update is I'm a mom now. I gotta say being a mom is a lot of hard work. She's six months old now. She's just learning how to crawl and I'm trying to keep up with her and I don't like my parents aren't in Japan so I'm relying a lot on my husband's mom and babysitters and everything to kind of balance everything out but I'm really enjoying this part of my life so um, that's also taken up a lot of my time basically that's why I haven't posted in so long I hope you guys can understand that and um, oh another Life update is I got Invisalign. I'm almost done. So I think my teeth look pretty good right now. I'm wearing like the little uh, Invisalign thingy right now. So this should be done in October. Um, I don't know if you guys wanna know more about that process, but I was thinking um, because when I got really sick and then when I was pregnant, I really got into eating really healthy kind of. So I started cooking all of my own meals. I started cooking a lot and if you know me in real life, you know that I am a terrible cook. Um, I don't know how to cook anything. Well, I didn't know how to cook anything and now um, I really, really enjoy it. So I kind of want to share um, that on this channel, cooking Japanese food. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think and Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it's probably a little bit long. My camera died a few times, so I hope it's coherent. But yeah, just thank you guys so much for sticking around. And I'm really surprised that not everybody has unsubscribed yet. As I've told you, I have a daughter now, so um, my schedule is kind of a hot mess, but I will try my best and I hope you stick around and I hope you like the videos that I'm gonna come out with. Um, there's one video that I filmed two years ago, I think now, and I uploaded it to my channel and it got a copyright claim and then I just got bummed out even more and I was like, forget it, I'm I'm gonna take a break. I'm not gonna upload anything to Tokyo Bree Bree. So I might post that video. I don't know, I have to see, but yeah. Okay, so I will see you in my next video, guys. Thank you so much, and see you next time. Bye.